Who do we have today? We have Wanda Massengale here, and she's representing the Ozark Humane Society with a sweet kitten named Darby. Darby and his brothers Arby. Darby, Darby and, and Arby. Arby. And their last name is Gillis. <laughs> okay. Uh, three months old. He's a little boy. He'll, if he's not fixed by now, he will be. Today's the last day of their special, so oh. sixty dollars. But by the time okay. this airs, the month and that's uh, but it'll that's be spayed or a neutered. Short hair. Yeah, seventy-five dollars will be his adoption fee. And, and if you're watching it live and you want Darby, you better grab it. You better grab it. Um, they have forty-four dogs and twenty-six cats in house at seventy. They've had twenty-four pets adopted uh, in June. Hopefully today they might add some more. Um, the little candy that we had is on hold. She has to be spayed. The little dots that I have mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. And she's got a home. Uh, her, the one that was brought in with her is getting a different home, but they're mm -hmm. both being adopted out. Darby's like not quite sure what to think about in a TV studio. <laughs> He's been in the cage, haven't you, Sweet Pea? He probably wants to run around. I'm sure he does. But um, there is actually another spay and neuter clinic coming up in July. And the restoration is July 12th from 9 to 1. It calls for pause or until full. And the clinic itself is July 19, 20, and 21st. So I went through my notes of the year. The first clinic in February, and I had two pets in there that I had kind of rescued. They did um, 143 pets for people and then 19 feral cats. And then the second clinic in April, they did 98 total. And the third clinic, which is just finished, was 134. The total the spay and neuter clinic has done this year is 394. Wonderful, though. And then yeah, Sherry said... Now, it, this is from February. Uh, it's from February. All the clinics okay. they've done so yeah. far is 394. And Sherry said it's taken three years to get all the feral cats fixed in one community in Harrison. And they've done that, and they've released them back, and now they're working on their community. And she said that people get cats that show up. They call them feral mm -hmm. cats when they're not. Feral cats, are, they're wild. I said, you can't really catch them. I mean, they don't usually. I was, I was amazed that you got that many. The number that you mentioned. Oh, the mentioned, feral the cats. Feral, yeah. How did you catch those? They catch them in live traps like, okay. like okay. Phyllis and I did yeah, okay. out there by me when that guy moved off and left all those wild cats and dogs to starve mm -hmm. to death. You know, but we didn't put them back in our area. We found homes for them as, as we went, as we caught them. Okay. But these go back in the community, and then someone feeds them. But cats multiply quick, and there's disease and everything yeah. else, yeah. you know. But the spay and neuter clinic is definitely a help to our community. And it's hosted uh, by Camp Jack, but the restoration will be... It calls for pause. Are you calming down? No. Well, that's good. I, sure not. It's not. I hear it purring. Yeah. Uh, calls for Paul still needs donations, volunteers at the shelter, and it calls for Paul's. I've about cleaned out every area in my house and barn and outbuildings, and I don't think I have any more to go for a while. Yeah, but. Uh, uh, they have the artwork tonight. You know, we talked about where someone could go and mm -hmm. draw their pet. Mm -hmm. So oh, yeah. I'm anxious to see how that turns mm -hmm. out. Where's that going to be at now? It's at the Creations. Creative Art Studio. Yes. Yes. Okay. Have you t been there for uh, now, where art? Where is that? Well, a while, while back, I was. Where, where is it located? It's down uh, across from Kirkland. Oh, yeah. By yeah. Urban yeah, yeah, Market. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Down, you know. For us old timers, it's by Clark and Hope, <laughs> the right, old Clark right. and Hope. <laughs> but it's that area of town. But this one's, they have uh, some German Shepherd puppies out there. Oh, wow. And you they're, I, yeah, and they, I think they're on hold. And then they have lab mix, it's black lab mix puppies. I, I just love to watch you deal with these animals wrangler. when they come in. You're a wrangler. Am I a wrangler? 
after racing a Belgium horse by hand. You know, several, I think a month or so, maybe it was a couple months ago, we did a DNA test on Dobby. That's and right. We, we haven't heard, we and haven't I heard still haven't heard. From, have I not left heard back a from. not so nice review at Amazon. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, I did. Well, I just need to get on the phone and, and track it down. I did call the lady and, and uh, before I sent it right. to make sure everything was fine. She goes, oh, yeah, I sent it. We, so I never got we word want, back. We want to know about that. And this is, you know, fireworks is usually January 1 and, of course, 4th of July. Well, I bought this off of Amazon to bring. And you start the little heartbeat, and it can go continuous. Oh, I've got it. <laughs> Thank you. And put it in there. And this is for anxiety, separation. And what happens? It, is it a, it's a heartbeat. Oh, it makes its heartbeat. Yeah, you, you oh. press this and okay. it starts. And then you put it in and a puppy can snuggle with it or kitten. Um, you, might, you have to hold it down. There's directions on the back. Can you hear it? You lay it on the table, you can. It's got a vibrating uh -huh. thing to it. Right. And it's supposed to help, hopefully, with fireworks. It's to calm the pet. Oh, that's weird. Storms. Both of mine do not like storms. But it Velcros. You just put it where the heart goes. That is cool. That's, That's nice. very cool. Yeah, I got it off Amazon. I wanted to bring That's it nice. to the show and show that they make things like that. Because sometimes a person only gets one puppy. Yeah. Or, yeah. you know, one. if someone's in the hospital or gone, this is supposed to help with any kind of anxiety. So cool. I thought it was kind of cool. neat. Well, Wanda... Uh, Darby is available right now, and it looks like uh, he won't be he won't be available very long. He's cute. He's a cute. He he, he's got the longest legs. Well, he's got a long tail he's too. He's got a long tail, long legs. He's very healthy. You can tell by the if you sleepness. Love cats, this one's available. Yeah. Thanks, Wanda. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. And we'd like to thank you for joining us today. If you'd like to be a part of what we do here on the show, you can uh, schedule an appointment. You can schedule, well, you can schedule a segment. If you want an appointment, with, is there anything you can do? Like, um, like, like I, work on somebody's car or? <laughs> they're going to get much of People need to remember to protect their pets over their fourth. Yeah. 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 If you have an animal that uh, doesn't Darby. like um, firecrackers, uh, you can put them in a house and whatever. Because people lose their Yeah. Family. Yeah. Yeah. They run off and they don't come back. Anyway, if you'd like to be a part of what we do here, we have um, different contact information. We are located at 400 South Sycamore, right here in Harrison, Arkansas. Phone number is 870-741-4891. We have a Facebook page, Hometown Television, and we have a website, hometowntv.net. Thanks, Ann. No, thanks, for being Ann. Here. Thanks for watching. See you again next time. Mm -hmm.